for this. So, the year is 1987. Billy, my husband, and I are driving down the Ozone Parkway. Now, Billy decides all of a sudden that he needs to call his mother to let her know we're running late. I don't butt into that. That's the mother-in-law. They can do whatever they want, right? So we pull over. He goes to the phone booth, and I hop in the front seat. Now, Billy puts in his coins. He's talking to his mother. And then all of a sudden, these two guys come out of nowhere and approach him at the phone booth. Now, Billy didn't think too much of it until one of them pulls a gun on him. Then he's like, oh man, that's the gun. So, the guys say, come on, come out of the phone booth. So Billy does. He leaves the phone booth and walks with the two guys. Now, at this point, these two guys couldn't see me. I'm 5'2". It's a Jeep. It's hard to see. I see these two guys, though. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking, does Billy know them? Are they friends? Did they just become friends? And then I see the gun. So what do I do? I scream. I do. I scream. Then these guys, then they notice me. So they yell at me. They go, hey, you get over here or your boyfriend gets hurt. Now I didn't know what to do at this point. The keys were in the ignition, so I knew I could get away. But then I thought about this piece of advice my mother once gave me. Swear to God, swear to God, this is what she tells me. She said, when in doubt, distract. So that's what I do. I distract. I yell back at these two guys. I say, you think I like him? Take him, he's yours. And I drove around the block. It distracted them just enough for Billy to make a break for it and meet me at the car. What a rush.